Reba, Reba, would you just let them take care of you know this? What, They'll clean it up. What you should do is learn to clean up your own mess. You called us here to discuss Elizabeth's baby, Reba. Jonathan and Lizzie's baby. Reba, Reba, no, it's, it's okay. Right. I mean, it's, if you just clean it up, it'll just be saying... Damn it, Reba, just talk. stop it. It's oh, making me... Take your hands off. I can't do this. Can't do what? About what? Are you... Are you leaving me? No, I understand. I understand where you get this idea from. Remy. I'll be back in a minute. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. No, no. Just I'm, I'm glad I'm out with my wife. The rest of this nonsense is. Uh... Okay, Billy. Nobody needs your cowboy justice. Oh, here. Well, is, is that a fact now? Billy, I'm hey. okay. Other than being stoned out of your gourd, Reba. Hey, look, you just stay away from Reba and her son. You got that clear? Billy. Yeah, yeah. Right. No, no, no. You stay away from my family. You won't even see me coming, Alan. I got it handled. You know, I remember when Josh used to issue Reva's threats. Yeah, well, I'm, I felt a lot dirtier than Josh. Is that how you took his wife? Gee, I don't know, Alan. How'd you take your son's wife? Reva called a meeting tonight to bring about family unity, and I'm glad you're here. Reva, if you think you and your pothead son are going to keep me away from Elizabeth and her baby, you are absolutely out of your mind. Billy, yeah. no, I just... No, just, I just, just talk to okay, you. Okay, all right. No, let's just now. Okay. Where's Reva? Billy took her home. Why? She probably had to clean her pipe. Granddad, stop. Elizabeth, your husband's been gone for 20 minutes because he's stoned. And his mother was such a mess, they had to take her home. Now, if anyone is being disrespectful... Alan, it's... let's just eat our meals. What did, you, what did you hope to accomplish tonight, Jonathan? Your mother was an embarrassment, and so are you. Hello, hello, I'm talking to you. Did you hear a word I said? No. So where'd you go? I just had something to take care of. Is everything all right, Tammy? I mean, is there anything I can do for you? I'm okay. I, uh, I just, I might go home a little early. Well, I'll drive. No, you guys stay here. I don't want to ruin your evening. Ruin my evening? You leave me here with these two? Hey. Yeah, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, good All right, listen, I hate married couples, just okay? You right. can't strand me here. I break out. I do. Okay. Okay? I'll stay until dessert. Okay. Of course. Hey. Where are you going? Don't worry about it. Hey, no, if you are going to be married to my daughter, the least you can do is show her some respect. Respect, respect, respect. Is it the only word that you Spaldings know? You have ignored her all night. I don't have time for this. Well, you better make time. So while you're away, Randy was expressing that he's a little insecure because he, he thinks that you don't like his cologne. So he'd like to overcompensate Honey. by buying dinner for I don't think tonight. so. I'm a cop. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> My daughter has had a lousy life. She deserves a hell of a lot better than you. I agree. Wish she'd found him. <laughs> mm, well, she didn't. So for now, she's stuck with you. And while she is, the least you can do is pretend that she is the best thing that ever happened to you. Or what? <laughs> Push me, and you'll find out. You know what? It's the other way around, okay? They're always plying me. Rick. Excuse me. You don't want to do this with me, Beth. Trust me. Lizzie is carrying your child. Yeah, I know. Then act like it. Stop treating her like What's going, dirt. What's going on? What's going on? Gang's all here. Is this about Lizzie? None of your business. If this concerns Lizzie, it is my business. She's the daughter of two of my dearest friends. Mmm, friends. Hear that, Beth? Just got downgraded from lover. I don't, I don't know where this is going, but it's just unnecessary. So why don't we just do this? Why don't we just chill out, take a deep breath, go 
Calm down, go back to our tables and enjoy the rest of our meal. Chill out. Good. It's good advice, Rick. Jonathan, why are you doing this? Why am I doing this? Because I'm walking across the room to see you and Beth assaults me. I asked you to keep your distance. Just stay away from our table. We're just trying to have a nice, normal dinner. Oh, nice, normal? Never got that from me, right? Right? You want to see how nice and normal these people really are? What are you talking about? No, no, no. Where are you going? Hey! Everybody, gather around! I got something to say, it's gonna be really good! Well, come on, everybody, get closer! You're not gonna want to miss a word of what I have to say. What are you up to now, Jonathan? Well, Alan given Tammy a little education on how the world really works. She seems to think there's such a thing as happy family. She's right. Oh, please, Remy. I understand why your family is her ideal. You know, barbecues on Sundays, barbecues every July, whatever. Does it get any better than that? I ask you. What is all this about? This is about hypocrites and liars and people who put themselves above me and they make themselves out to be the perfect ideal. Well, who are these people, huh? Who are they really? Who are these regular, perfect, respectable people? Here. Here's two of them. Right here. Okay? Are they perfect? No. I don't think so. Are they respectable? No. They're both married to other people. So I guess they're not. They've been seeing each other for months. So here is your perfect, normal family, Tammy. That's inspiring, huh?